Hello and welcome to another video of the Mercosur IPR SME Help Desk. Today, we're speaking about what to bear in mind before commercializing your designs in the Mercosur. Fashion designers, engineers, toy manufacturers, web developers, and graphic artists are devoted to different sectors, but they all have in common one thing – they can own a design. That might be your case too, but before starting getting funding or gain customers, please stop a moment and see if you already took into account these four simple questions. Where are you going to commercialize it? You may opt to do it in your own country and or in one of the Mercosur countries. Your market strategy and consequently your intellectual property protection strategy would vary depending on it, which leads us to the second question. Where are you going to protect it? Ideally, you would protect your creation in all of them, or even in the neighbor ones. Of course, getting your intellectual property rights granted is the best scenario, so we recommend to know in advance the local regulation. Do not forget that IP rights are territorial rights that are governed by national laws. The registration requirements, they are very similar, but they also vary from country to country. The duration of the protection conferred by the IP right in the Mercosur countries as registered design could last from 5 to 25 years, depending on the case. And finally, the price and duration of the registration proceedings, since time and money are key factors to bear in mind for any SME. But remember, that protection does not necessarily involve registration. Discretion is one of the most powerful tools for SMEs in such a competitive world. Once you've decided in which countries you will protect, you need to know exactly if your creation is protectable as a design in that specific territory zone. Is it protectable as a design? Generally, designs protect the aesthetic or ornamental aspect of an article, hence two- and three-dimensional features such as lines, colors, patterns, forms and outlines are protectable subjects. In other words, technical or functional aspects are excluded. Nonetheless, it should be considered case by case due to the local differences. For example, in Chile, clothes cannot be protected as designs. If your answer was yes, then you need to know if your design complies with the registration requirements, which, as said, could vary from country to country. There are the most common ones. Novelty? Is it really new? Or did someone including you disclose a by any means in the past, no matter where? Originality? Is it really something that differs significantly from previous creations? In Argentina, for example, minor changes are not valid. And industrial applicability? Could it be made or used in some kind of industry? If the answer to the previous questions were no, don't panic. What you should do instead is checking if your creation could be protected as another intellectual property right. Copyrights, patents, utility models, or trademarks may be applicable to your case. It could happen that your car's piece design provides an aerodynamic advantage. This functional feature could be protected as a patent. All in all, it is recommendable to go a step further and see if your asset could be additionally protected via another or many of the said IP rights. For example, in addition to the design's registration, you could register the name of the product of your company as a trademark. And your client's database could be protected as copyright or sui generis database. And now that you know what are the main four aspects to take into account to protect your design, is there anything you should consider? <laughs> of course, but nothing would be more helpful than these five top advices. First, contact an IP expert your case could be similar to another one, but a detail can change everything. Second, be patient, my friend. Don't show or advertise your design before protecting it, because you could harm your future application for lack of novelty. And if you need to let parents know, 
or potential investors if they may benefit a bit, try to design a non-disclosure agreement. Third, ignorance is not an advantage. Conduct a prior search to know what was already being created so you can really make a real contribution to mankind and be sure that your rights is strong and cannot be attacked by other registrants. Fourth, you may be a good artist, very creative and impulsive, but IP protection is not something that could be improvised. Protect your creation from the very beginning. Intellectual property rights protection is not the icing on the cake, but the daily bread to success. And finally, remember that in case the previous four steps do not work, you can always go back to step one and contact us. Our experts will be pleased to assist you in any IP-related questions and will provide you with an answer within five working days. For further information, please visit our website.